Yo, what up guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while, but I'm back at it again with another PC build. In this video, we're working with a $600 budget. This build was inspired by one of Overwatch's heroes, DV8, as well as your comments. Allow me to read some of them. So Kaiser HD, he's a simple guy. He just commented i3-8100, and that is the processor we're going with in this video. So I'm probably gonna butcher this person's name, so I won't even bother pronouncing it, but she said, Joey, can you do like an i3-8350 or i3-8100 with a GTX N60 or 1050 Ti for $600, thanks. Well, you can't really fit a GTX 1050 Ti at a $600 budget because GPUs are still overpriced, so I just went with a GTX 1050. Mythical Gaming said, yo, that's awesome, Joey. Also, do you think you can do a super duper budget build just for fun? Well, I'm not sure exactly what a super duper budget build is exactly, but your profile pic is the Overwatch logo, so I think you'll be pleased with this build. AKY Plays said, please do a build with an i3-8100. Thanks, Joey. SpongeBob said, do a build with an i3-8100, please, Joey. So a lot of you guys requested the i3-8100, and that's why I chose to go with that processor. Once again, I encourage you guys to comment down below video ideas as far as what parts you'd wanna see in future PC builds. So in case you're new here, let me explain exactly how we do it. We're gonna first go over the parts and why I picked them. Second, we're gonna build the PC. It's not gonna be a super in-depth tutorial. It's a time-lapse build. In case you've never built a PC before, I have done super in-depth guide videos. Those will be located in the video description. And then last, we're actually gonna be gaming on this PC. I'm gonna be testing out all the popular modern AAA titles. All right, let's get the parts out. And then I have my case right here. So first part, our GPU. So like I said earlier, graphics cards are still overpriced. The original MSRP of a GTX N50 is usually around the $100 to $110 price tag. Right now it's going for $147. I got it for that price. But yeah, I went with this MSI one because I like the colors. It has a little black on white theme going. It looks pretty cool. It's gonna match the parts. That's really important to me. I like the parts to match each other. For our storage, I went with a one terabyte Barracuda hard drive. That's $45. Our motherboard, we went with the Z370 chipset. That's the top of the line Coffee Lake chipset. The budget and mid-range ones have still not yet been released. I have no idea when they're gonna be released, but the motherboard, I got it for $100. And for our RAM, RAM prices are also overpriced. This RAM comes in three colors. It comes in white, red, and gray. I went with the white, that's what's gonna match our build the best. 2400 megahertz, eight gigabytes, $95. I probably shouldn't even call it overpriced anymore. It looks like high RAM prices are the norm now, unfortunately. Okay, so for our case, let me get it out of its box so you guys could see it. it looks nice, what do you guys think? Of course, it has a window. All builds have to have windows. I paid $60 for this case. Not too familiar with this brand, but every build I try to go with a different case to keep things interesting. For our power supply, I went with the EVGA 450 watt power supply. It's bronze rated. This was $42. It's gonna get the job done and it doesn't have any ketchup and mustard cable, so that's a bonus. It's all sleeved black. And the Coffee Lake i3-8100 brought to you guys by popular demand. i3s are no longer two cores, they're now four cores. That's a four core, four thread CPU clocked at 3.6 gigahertz. Also, i3s kind of get a bad rap. I see it in the comments sometimes. I know their history, i3s weren't really for gaming, but the modern Coffee Lake i3s are like, they're more than adequate for gaming. And all those parts added up totals $604. Okay, moving on to our extras, the heatsink. But let me get out the Intel heatsink so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the stock Intel heatsinks, guys, I'm not a fan of them. They really are due for an upgrade. Like I said in my last PC build, the AMD stock heatsinks are a lot better looking than this. So I just didn't want to use this in the build. I could have removed the Intel sticker and I guess it wouldn't have been that bad, but this is what I want to replace it with. So this is not necessary. You don't need this. It's not going to improve your performance. It's a little more beefier, so it is going to do a better job at keeping the temps low. Not that the stock Intel heatsink would have done the job. That would have been fine because the i3 8100's locked. You're not going to be overclocking or anything, but I thought it'd be cool to print out a DVA sticker, which I did, and then I put it on there. Um, yeah, looks really amateurish. Oh, I also want to mention that the thermal paste is pre-applied on this heatsink because I don't want you guys to butcher me in the comments. One time you guys were like, oh, where's we to put the thermal paste? Oh my God, what are you doing? And for DVA and Mecca, I paid $18 for this. All right, guys, so let's build this thing. If I were you, I would have gone too. 
If my life was such a mess, I wouldn't be you. But I woke up. Out of the blue You went and I was left behind We're gonna install the GPU now. Check out this card though. So guys, this is a GTX 1050, so it doesn't require external power. If we were using another card that did require power, it's pretty cool, because this case, the cable management is actually pretty nice. You can just run up the power cable up through here and plug it in right there and it'll look good. So it came out better than I even pictured it in my head. The theme, the color theme is really matching. You got the black on white, white, and black on white. Looks good. Oh, ever I forgot to mention, I also bought stickers. I kind of got carried away. I'm not exactly gonna use all of them. Now we gotta actually put DVA and Mecca in there. <laughs> Look at her, so tiny. Where should I put it? Should I put it down in the middle or up? No! What the heck? <laughs> oh. All right, whatever, that's gonna have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and include links to all these stickers and all the parts used in this build in the video description, so check it out. Oh, dude, did you guys hear that? Did the mic pick that up? Oh my. Nice. All right, guys, we're playing Battlefield 1 first, 1080p resolution, on, medium settings preset. Come on. They're in here or what? Oh, yeah, they are. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, buddy. You want a present? Happy birthday. Take the you. Nee. Oh, no, no. No. All right, guys, so we're playing some Rainbow Six Siege now, 1080p resolution, medium settings preset. Oh, lucky wallbang. What? Already? Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, oh, oh shoot. Had him, he was low. Oh, oh wow, I was, I was really cornered. <laughs> Alright guys, we're playing some CSGO now. Not style settings, except that we're at times 4 MSAA. Our resolution is at 1080p. I got him! Yay! 
1080p resolution. If I'm going too fast, go ahead and just pause it. Whoa! Look at the FPS. That was great. Oh, right here. Perfect. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. All right, guys. We're playing Fortnite now. Medium settings for the resolution scale 100%. Okay, I missed a lot of shots, but I got him finally. So we're playing Overwatch now, guys, on the high preset. Alright guys, we're playing PUBG, medium settings. There's okay, a lot of fire going on over here. Wow. I just... Those shots, I look, it looked like I missed all those shots. Oh, I got an achievement. Cool. Oh, I'm taking fire. Oh. Oh, I got a stutter right there. Yes, that was not good. Okay, I got him though. It's, ah! Where? Left or right? Left or right? Oh, he got me. All right, guys. Well, if you watch to the end, I really appreciate it. If you haven't turned on bell notifications, oh, we killed. She killed two people. That wasn't me. That was me. If you haven't turned on bell notifications, turn them on so you can be alerted when I post future PC builds. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.